three, two, one. Tonight in our hustle, we reviewed everything that we covered before. We talked about posture and making sure that we, when we, when we connect on the stretching part of it, we want to have our center pulled back and our arm stays down. We don't want to straighten our arm because then we'll pull our head back and we'll be off kilter, we'll be off balance because now our base is headed in front of our body. We want our body weight to connect through here and one, and then make sure to keep driving forward with the ribcage, keeping the center pulled back at all times. So when we go through on three, and one, two, three, you want to step away, and then we do our rock step, and there's a pull back from our common center here, and one, and then we pull ourselves forward towards the center again. We want to think linear about this. Remember we talked about the, the, uh, the invisible hot dog, or this imaginary hot dog. Ladies dance on the hot dog, guys dance on the bun. All right, we get started, we get out of their way. We dance over to the bun, okay? We get the underarm turn. So for the guys, we got our throw out, and one, two, three. Single hand connection, not the double hand. We're going to go and forward, side, we're going to lift our left hand. We're dancing on the bun now, she's still hot dog. We step back, three, lowering the hand, we're reconnected. We then did the arm slide, or the behind the back arm slide, and we went, and one, we're lifting our right arm, stepping forward, two on our left foot, <coughs> placing our hand on our side, stepping back, three. We need to turn quickly to get her back in front of us. Her hand will slide across our back. We'll take, it'll come down our arm, back into our hand here, and we're reconnected to back in front of us. Okay, for the ladies, the underarm turn. We have a right hand, so left hand connection. She's going to go and forward one, forward two. She's going to make sure her center stays pulled back, so we kind of sit into that hip there. We turn, step back, three. Then we do our slide, our arm slide, and we go and forward one. Forward two, we feel our hand go on his side. That's like an anchor. It keeps us from turning. So it, we have to make sure this stays in front of us. We go with it, three, he picks us back up, and one. So all we're really feeling like we're doing is walking, which is what a great follower does. She stays walking back and forth on the balance beam or on the hot dog. It's always this feeling of and forward, forward, <coughs> back and forward, forward, side, bump, bump. There's always a slingshot effect, but always just keep your movement linear. Okay.